So guys, this is the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, a flagship phone that was Samsung's best phone 3 years ago. Despite its initial launch price of $1,200, today you'll get it refurbished for around $300 and maybe a little bit more, but you shouldn't spend more than $400. But is it still worth buying today? In this video we are going to look at reasons to buy and reasons not to buy the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in 2024. Let's begin. The first reason to buy this phone is its display. It's still one of the best you can find on any phone despite being 3 years old. It's a massive 6.8 inch dynamic AMOLED display with a QHD plus resolution of 1440 by 3200 pixels. And if you are a fan of bright, vibrant and immersive displays, then the S21 Ultra is the phone for you. The resolution is extremely high and beats most flagship phones from this year. It's also slightly curved at the edges. Not that extreme curve like other phones, it's the perfect kind of curve. It looks good while you also don't have to fear having accidental touches at the edges. And obviously, it has a refresh rate of 120 Hz, which can dynamically adjust depending on the kind of content you are viewing on the phone. It can go as low as 10 Hz when you are reading articles or as high as 120 Hz for heavy gaming, so it helps your battery life without affecting performance. Additionally, it's amazing for watching movies and TV shows due to HDR 10 Plus certification and its excellent colors and dynamic range and vivid visuals on streaming sites such as YouTube and Netflix. Basically, we can say that this display is one of the best out here and is better than all new $300 phones coming out today. As a matter of fact, it's on par with the just recently released S24 Ultra, which is $1000 more expensive. Beyond its stunning display, another reason is its build quality. It has Gorilla Glass Victus protection on both the front and back glass and an aluminum frame. So unless you intentionally want to break the phone, it will be durable enough to withstand 99% of all accidental drops and scratches. It also has IP68 dust and water resistance, shielding the phone from such elements. At the back, it's a matte finish, so you'll get less fingerprints as compared to other glossy backs. This phone's build quality is solid and obviously better than all current budget phones. Another reason to consider buying the phone is its amazing camera system, which consists of 5 cameras. It has a 108 megapixel wide angle lens, 10 megapixel periscope telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom, another 10 megapixel telephoto lens with 3x optical zoom, a 12 megapixel ultrawid lens, and a 40 megapixel selfie snapper. It produces sharp, detailed photos with rich color reproduction. Whether you are shooting in broad daylight or in low light conditions, the Galaxy S21 Ultra consistently delivers outstanding results. It excels in capturing enough light, ensuring your photos are crisp and clear even in environments with terrible lighting. Now obviously, this is not the best camera in the world, but it's really capable and it's better than the $300 phone that you own right now. It has the ability to record 8K video, which is extreme, although you get one big benefit. When editing, you'll be able to crop and edit videos without sacrificing quality. If you're exporting to 4K or 1080p most of the time, and the camera can still record 4K at 30 and 60 FPS in both the rear and selfie cameras. So it's amazing for content creation as it takes superb videos. All in all, I can assure you that you won't be disappointed with this camera. When it comes to performance, it's no question that this phone is a powerhouse. Equipped with either the Exynos 2100 or the Snapdragon 888 chipset, with the latter being the superior choice, this phone delivers seamless performance across the board. The Snapdragon variant, in particular, outshines its counterpart, ensuring a smoother user experience with faster processing speeds, and so it's advisable to pick it if you're buying the phone right now. The good thing, however, is that both processors will easily destroy any other processor found in a phone worth $300 released in 2024. Whether you're gaming, multitasking, or editing videos, I think it's very powerful and can run everything you throw at it. I don't think there's anything that it cannot do. With either 12GB or 16GB of RAM, and storage options ranging from 128GB to 512GB, the Galaxy S21 Ultra offers ample memory and storage capacity for your needs. While there's no option for expandable storage via SD card, the internal storage should be more than enough for most users. Another reason to consider buying this phone is the software updates. It launched with Android 11 and One UI 3.1 and has continued to receive regular updates, staying up to date with the latest features and security patches up to the current Android 14. It will even get Android 15, and so it's pretty much up to date for at least the next two years. In addition to software updates, another reason for buying it could be its software features. So this is a premium Samsung phone, and one thing about premium Samsung phones is that they give you the best of the best features that Samsung has to offer. 
you get features like Samsung DeX, which allows you to connect your phone to a bigger screen like a monitor or a TV, to display its features there. By using Samsung DeX, you can enjoy enhanced productivity and convenience, whether it's for work, entertainment, or multitasking. Whether you're presenting slideshows, editing documents, or streaming content on a bigger screen, you'll have an immersive experience. This is a feature that you only find in premium Samsung phones, so you can't find it in any phone from any other brands, and you also can't find it in budget or mid-range Samsung phones. And so having such a premium feature in a phone that's now affordable is a great advantage and could be a reason to buy it. One more reason to consider buying this phone is 5G internet connectivity. So over the past few years, 5G network has been continuously improving all over the world, delivering faster and more reliable internet access. And so by opting for a 5G enabled device like the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you're basically future-proofing your investment. And many budget phones still don't have 5G, so this phone has a great advantage. The final reason to buy this phone is its support for wireless charging. Most of the time, this feature is usually left for flagship phones and a few mid-range phones here and there. Many budget phones forego that feature, mostly to cut costs. So getting it at this affordable price should be something amazing. You also get reverse wireless charging, enabling you to use your phone as a charging pad for other devices. You can charge your smartwatch, wireless earbuds, or even another smartphone if you are in need of a power boost. One limitation of the Galaxy S21 Ultra is the absence of a headphone jack. This trend of omitting the headphone jack has become increasingly common among flagship phones since 2020, and the Galaxy S21 Ultra follows suit. So you are left with Bluetooth, which is a really amazing alternative with great audio and all, but Bluetooth always has latency issues, especially when gaming and watching movies. So if you're a fan of wired headphones, this phone is definitely not for you. Another reason not to buy the phone is its charging speeds. It supports 25 watt charging, a speed that, while adequate, may be considered relatively slow compared to the charging capabilities of many smartphones today. And while it's true that even current flagships from Samsung, Apple, and Google offer similar charging speeds, it's worth noting that other manufacturers such as OnePlus, Oppo, and Xiaomi have significantly faster speeds which are quite useful and efficient. This could be a deal breaker for some and an issue for others, so it's right there in the middle. In conclusion, I say that the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra stands out as an exceptional choice, especially at its current price point of $300 and is a must buy. I literally couldn't find more reasons not to buy it, because despite being 3 years old now, it's still a top tier phone. You get an impressive display, powerful performance, versatile camera system, and support for 5G connectivity and wireless charging. The absence of a headphone jack and relatively slow charging speeds can be overlooked by many. Now not everyone can afford the just released S24 Ultra, but you can get the S21 Ultra and despite some differences here and there, you still enjoy a premium experience at a much more affordable price point. What other older phones should you talk about? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'm Milan and this is Fuzite. Subscribe.